We got action with the queens. Wow. Wow. Can I fold queens here? This guy has like kings or aces. For him not to shove. Can I fold queens here? Oh my god. Defended queen eight versus a three X. Excellent turn card. Hopefully he's got a 10 and he wants to keep us honest. Or he could check jam a draw. That's fine too. I'll take the action. Check call, okay. Biggest brick river ever. So he's either got a missed draw or he's got a value hand. Uh, it doesn't really bad matter what I bet. If, I, if he has a missed draw, he's gonna fold. So I want to just target all of his 10x and even some worse 8x. Or there's only one eight left, but in any type of bluff catchers, because there's a lot of draws I can have that I'm gonna put him to the test with on this brick river. So we're gonna make him indifferent about calling this all in, assuming we have the best hand. Call it off, bro. Oh. And we take it down. We got the check Rizzle here. What's he repping? All right, we'll set the trap. Okay, as long as he doesn't have queen, king 10, we should be good. I think he has a worse queen. Oh, wait, he called from the small blind. Uh, how many queen jack suited combos remain? Uh, hold on, got to do some math. Queen jack suited. Okay, looks like he's giving up. Or he got an ace. He could have like ace 10 of hearts. I don't think he's going to call an all in in a half pot. That is exactly one, three, three, seven. It was meant to be. Let's get paid. And we're shoving in the big boy. We get called. Heart. Put the heart out there. Yes. Got him. What a cooler. Fold it over here. We took it down here. Boom, baby. What an epic spot. Just a stone cold cooler. And we hit the final table. That's right. Let's pull up the lobby. Let's get that custom final table going. Custom final table incoming. Wow, uh, I think I do have to call this as much as I have a shit hand. The price is right, he should overcall him. We just check it down. I also have a hand here. Little teaser. Go for that little value bet. calls we get paid and knock a player out seven remain continue to barrel praying for a fold or a club either one is fine what the hell is this is this some next level turn raise shit what kind of price is he giving me here eight blinds to win i'm getting immediate odds unless he holy shit if he has specifically ace x of clubs i'm actually drawing dead that's kind of what he's repping a6 of clubs. A6 of clubs. Thin call. Thin to win. And we're gonna make a very exploitable fold here. A6 in the six fucking plays. You love to see it. Another knockout. Back to back. Huge fold. Huge fold. Who bluffs there? I mean, does he ever have Jack 10 there? Is he like, oh man, I'm gonna... I know he raised under the gun and bet twice, but I think he's going to fold an ace if I raise my jack-10. Probably not. We're at the, another final table. Double final table action. Unbelievable. Six left. $560 locked up. We almost have 100 buy-ins locked up. Adopt today. Plenty of great animals out there at shelters that need homes. It doesn't mean they're a bad animal. It means they're just in a bad circumstance. Big leveling war. She uh, assumes I have a hand like Ace High. I assume she has a wide range of hands, ranging from 9x to Jack-10 type holdings. Uh, this blocker bet sure makes it look like she has value, but when you're getting 6 to 1, uh, you can't really level yourself into what she thinks I might think, and you just got to put in the call and expect to be wrong a large percentage of the time. Quads is good understandable boom straight and he's out pay jump oh baby we got a winning sunday on our hands check out adoptaboxerrescue.com and donate whatever you can five bucks it goes a long way 
just like this flop. This is when you're 13 inches rock hard. This is the moment. So some people will check here, thinking they got the, the deck kind of capitulated, but there is still a lot of heart combos, straight draws, and uh, two ace axes available. So we're gonna go with a very small bet, one fourth pot. We wanna get those three streets. Oh yeah, and three streets we're gonna get. And uh, speaking of Val Venus, Open the ladies up for a raise, and we're going for that half. Just under half pot action on the turn. We got action with the queens. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. Can I fold queens here? This guy has, like, kings or aces. <laughs> Check min raise. He's got a queen. Holy shit. Okay, for him not to shove. Can I fold queens here? Oh my God. Was that a misclick? I'd get so owned if I folded queens to this misclick. All right, obviously we're gonna call here and, and get the full double on the river, but uh, let's focus more. Why would he snap call? I think he has aces or kings. I think those are his only two hands. I think he shoves ace-king. I know it's a small difference between calling and shoving, but I really think he has aces or kings. And we're going to lay this one down. This, this hurts me inside if I'm wrong, but here we go. We're folding queens. Aces! It doesn't matter that we hit the queen. We made the right play. We folded queens correctly. What a great fold. Wow. Would have lost to ace-10 anyway. He did check the river for some reason, and he gave up. We take down another nice pot at this final table. I would have won a small side pot for sure, but I can't believe I folded queens there. It's If I was wrong, you know how many people would just berate me forever for folding queens in a $6 tournament? But this is more than a $6 tournament. It's almost four grand for first. This is real US dollar that's inflating at this very moment. So it might be like $3,000 by the time I actually win it. Shout out to the Burr machine. Aces. All right, um, well, first we're gonna jam these threes blind versus blind, 15 bigs. Hope for a fold. And we're three betting aces on the button. Final table, threes shove gets through. Aces, gross up with the resub. Pleasure playing with you today. We get action with the aces and a great flop. Hopefully he's got a mid pair. Let's get those streets. Let's get those three streets versus your pocket sevens. Or induce a little, little check jam. We even got the backdoor clubs covered, which does eliminate his ace-x combos. Okay, so a few things. When they lead like this, they're saying, hey, are my pocket sevens good? To counter this, you want to put in a real teaser re-raise to put them in a spot where they're like, man, is he just making a move on my move? But a flat is definitely more standard facing this. We don't have much to protect against. I think I would have flatted if I had a little more time. I'm just feeling a little greedy, like he's going to spew in uh, his pocket sevens. No, he didn't spew it in. Um, but we'll still pick up a very nice pot without showdown at the final table. I guess he assumes I'm never doing that with, um, you know, like ace, king, ace, queen, ace, x like that. All right, chat. Chat is a fan of the queen's fold. Hits a three to stay. Oh, three and a jack, and he's out. Easy jam, blind versus blind, five-handed. What's up, no? What's up, Clem 300? Speaking of bowling. He got sixth place in the great run. Played great, and we're shoving in with sixes. Three thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars for first place. Six dollar and sixty cent buy-in. People, where else can you get such a return on your investment? Only on America's Card Room. Sign up today. Promo code 
Bosky. And back here we got a 9 blind stack, 11 blind, 15, 27, 56. So stack distribution is very important in final tables with how the payouts work in ICM structures. Oh, big cooler over here. Top set. Wow, look at that run out too. And they're out. Another pay jump. Five left. Five handed. Two final tables. Great Sunday on America's card room. Let's let's make it even sweeter. Easy jam. Good luck, sixes. It's out of my hands. We got action. Keep it low. Yes. Big flip. Sixes are good. Now he's got barely any blinds. Huge equity pot. That pot probably worth $500 to $1,000 in a $6 tournament of equity. Threes versus ace queen. Threes win the flip. Good game, Haley. Always a pleasure. And we're now four-handed. Um, unfortunately, we have to defend to hopefully check it down against the forced all-in. Uh, man's coin is currently worth $69. But, you know, you can definitely spike. Another pay jump. And we're now four-handed. 5,810 entrants in this tournament. And now we're down to four. I know what you're thinking, Boski. 20 bigs? Where's all the chips at? Uh, we got a boatload of chips. We have 24 million chips. You know how hard it is to get a million chips? You know how pure I had to run to get this far? <laughs> Seriously, though. So, uh, being three of four, all eyes are on Mr. Kraut to go out next. And we're also four-handed, uh, just under $1,300 locked up here in the $33.20K. So we're going to be jamming this ace blind versus blind, also three of four. Get the fold. Hopefully this gets called. Wow, over $1,000 locked up here for a $6 buy-in. Just incredible. Tight fold. I know, crazy. But then we have spots like this. Ace, queen, a thing of beauty. Let's get that double. Slam dunk, all in spot. We got action. What a cooler. And we're out. Just like that, four-handed ace, queen versus ace, king with two similar stacks. A beat worth thousands of dollars, but that's tournament poker for you folks. $6.60 times five into just over $1,000 profit. Not a bad day at the tables, but the party is not over yet. We're still four-handed in the $33.20 K, just under $4,000 for first. We're not giving up. Not yet. Tight is right. Unless you're chip leader, then it's wrong. Yeah, 24 bigs or 500,000 chips. Oh shit, there's the cooler. The Miracle Queen knocks out Nut Rifle. <laughs> and we're three-handed. Boom, baby. I'm the shorty, but that's okay. We're on break. Don't go anywhere. We ship this baby. Got my lucky hat on. They're going to need some help. Okay, we got a pair. Something. That's true, my fifth bullet was the lucky one. Never give up. Unless you run out of money or patience or something like that. Four flush. Do we have a club? No. Okay. Pair might be good. Might be able to catch a bluff. Oh, wait, I got to send this guy 20 bucks. Uh, I mean, how low is he value betting? This is going to look real stupid. But we only have to be right here about 25% of the time. 
King of Clubs is good. Nice value bet, sir. Uh, we're a little bit too underwrapped with our two pair there. Of course, I know one club makes a flush, but it's tough to have a club sometimes. Uh, we're going to go for a check jam. All right, good luck us. All in at the final table. <laughs> Has me out kicked. I do not hit a 9 or a 10. And we're out. Third place for $1,673. Really appreciate all the support. Uh, got pretty damn deep. Just not deep enough to get the majority of the prize pool. I really appreciate all the mods out there and all the viewers. Make sure you hit that follow button. If you really like the channel, hit the subscribe button. Or it's free to subscribe on YouTube. Jeff Boski is the channel. Of course, if you don't have an ACR account, sign up today. Promo code BOSKI. 200% deposit bonus on your first deposit. See you guys at the tables. Find me in the micros, to the mid stakes, to the high stakes. I just love tournaments. That's why I played like 5,000 hands today and came out a winner. It wasn't a smooth road, but we came out feeling good at the end. Thanks for joining the stream. Everybody stay safe out there. Gamble responsibly. Show some love to the next streamer. And I'm out.